Welcome to Yoga with Carolyn. I am super excited today. We're going to work on crow pose, Bakkanasana. Now, crow is usually one of the first forearm balances or arm balances that we learn. I say usually because not everybody learns in the same order, which is perfectly okay. Um, we are going to get in this pose two ways. We're going to work on our core and opening up our hips just to make sure that we're good and ready to come in. And with that, Let's sit up tall. And I did wear my Believe in Yourself shirt just because I want you to know I believe in you and I want you to believe in yourself as well. We've got this. Let's take those arms above our head, inhaling, taking those, interlacing our fingers, flip the palms. Exhale, let's release our right hand, reach over with that left. We're just creating space and awareness, finding our breath. Let's come back through the center, interlace our fingers. Stretching our wrists and forearms, bringing our shoulders onto our backs. And then exhale, let that left hand reach over, or come down, reach over with the right. And then inhale, let's come up, interlace our fingers again. One more time, stretch out our wrists and forearms. And then exhale, release. Now remember, if crew is not where you're headed today, but you want to keep joining us for our core and hips, Keep coming. We're going to make our way onto our hands and our knees. I want you to take your shoulders over your wrists and we're going to press down. I want you to press the floor away, lifting up through our core. And let's take our inhale, bring our chin and chest through. Exhale, rounding, drawing your chin and our belly to our spine. How big can we make your cat tonight? Inhale as we lengthen. Exhale as we round. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, rounding last time. And then come into a flat spine. I like to walk my knees together, and you're welcome to join me. We're going to extend our right leg out. As we exhale this time, I want you to draw your chin to your knee. Inhale, just extend. Find that strength. Exhale, rounding. Now, as we do this, I want you to imagine somebody is lifting the front all the way up into the back. Inhale, and one more time. Now our hands are planted, rooted down. Draw that knee into the chest. Inhale to extend. Exhale, release. Let's take that left leg, extend it long, and then drawing that knee to the chin, the chest. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, knee to chin. Keep that foot off the floor as we extend. Last time, draw that knee in. Inhale, extend, slowly release. We're going to curl under both of our toes, making our way into our high plank. And then exhale, press back, find their down bow. Let's bend our right knee, take our left heel, and just alternate. We're warming up our ankles, our calves. We really need mobility in those ankles today. Now we're going to take both legs straight, drop back into our heels. We're going to just extend our right toes and then let them come back down. I want you to notice the core work that has to happen as we lift the left and lower. This time we're going to lift our right, draw our right knee to our chest, pause, inhale, extend, lower with control. Let's take that left leg, extend, draw our chin to our knee, oh, extend, and then let it float down nice and controlled. Now let's come up onto our tippy toes, hike those hips, tiptoe, straight leg, best we can. See, my hands are rooted to the ground as I walk my feet right behind. Now I'm going to soften my knees and come all the way up. Exhale as we release. Now you can stay facing this way. I'm going to face you. We're going to take our feet about as wide as our mats. We're going to turn those toes out. We're going to bring our hands to our heart center and we're going to start to come down into our malasana today. I'm going to heel toe my feet a little closer together. Very nice. How are we doing? So maybe we're not this deep yet. Maybe we're up a little bit higher. That's okay. Maybe our heels are coming off. If your heels are coming off, I do want you to place something underneath it. A block, a blanket, a mat. We're going to just plant our hands, straighten our legs, turn our toes to the front, to our hands, find a little forward fold, 
Now I'm going to turn back sideways because I want you to see it. I'm going to soften my knees. I'm going to draw my navel to my spine. And I'm going to stack my vertebrae one at a time. Feeling my core work as I come all the way up to lengthen. Beautiful how we felt. Awesome. Now, we're going to open those hips even more. We're going to take our feet about three to four feet apart. We're going to take those arms up on our head. As we exhale, I want you to fold, and I want you to just keep that core nice and tight as we fold all the way down. Very nice. Now we're going to walk our hands over to that right. We're going to bend our right knee, lift our left heel, come back through our center to that left side, lift that right. Come back through. Now I'm looking for my inner thighs to stretch, to open. My knees can touch my triceps. Oh, yeah. Let's come back to our center. One more time, over to that left side. Come back, find our fold, activate our legs, inner thighs especially, arms out to a T, come all the way up. Now we're just going to step back to the front end of our mats, however we get there. Now, let's take those arms above our head. Exhale, let's fold. We're going to step that right foot back, our left foot to meet it. Find that high plank here. Exhale, shift back, find our down dive. Now, we're going to start to extend our right toes. This time I want you to point the right toes. Draw the right knee to the right tricep, pause. Inhale, extend. Right knee to the chest, pause. Inhale, extend. Now let that right foot float down, but control it. So we extend our left toes, reach them up. Left knee, left tricep. Inhale, extend. Left knee to the chest. Inhale, extend. Now let those toes float down nice and controlled. Very nice. Now come up onto those tiptoes. How are we doing? Now we're going to step our right foot on the outside of our right hand. Our left foot on the outside of the left. And we're going to drop those hips. Come into our molasses again. Just opening. Now we're going to start to draw our pelvic floor up and in. Now let's plant our hands straight and legs. Turn our toes to the front edge of our mat. Find that full. And again, we're going to draw our navel to our spine, soften our knees, and roll up nice and slow. Again, standing tall. Let's roll through those shoulders. How are we doing? We good? Everything's warming up, right? Okay, now we're going to come back to that wide leg again. We're almost there. Now, here is your challenge a little bit more. We're going to go side to side, kind of what we did before but I'm going to give you an extra bonus. Take those arms out, find that fold. Slowly control. Now we're going to walk our hands over to that right side. Now I'm going to start out here. I'm going to lift my left foot, bring my hands to my heart. Now my core has to work as I come up and I drop down. Now I can keep my hands on the floor. Awesome place to be today. Your choice. Again, this is just a little bit more in that core work. Last time, each side. Oh, very nice. The opening into our hips. Oh, let's find our way to our center. Just find our forward fold. We'll release for a moment. Take those arms out to our teeth and come all the way up. We're just going to find our way back to the front of our mats. Doing good still? Awesome. Let's take those arms up. Inhale. As we exhale, let's fold. Right foot steps back, left to meet it. High plank again. Exhale, let's find our down dog. Now we're going to extend our right toes to the ceiling, right knee to the right tricep. How high up can I get it? Inhale, extend. Right knee to the center. Inhale, extend. One more time to that right tricep. Let's pause. Can you step your foot down? Now let's take our right leg back and let our right foot float to the mat. Let's extend those left toes up and back. Take our left knee, the left tricep. Inhale, extend. Left knee to the center. Inhale, extend. Left knee to the left tricep. Pause and step that foot down. Find that little bit of stretch. Now let's take that right left foot back. Extend, letting it float. Now we're going to come down onto our hands and knees. We're just going to roll those wrists up for a moment. Now again, I promised two ways to get into crow, right? 
I'm going to show you the ninja way, the way that finally made sense to me and worked for me. And by the way, it took me months to do this. Went home, showed my son, it took him minutes. So we're all in different places, right? Okay, so I'm gonna sneak into my crow and then I'm gonna show you how sometimes it works better for people who are longer, torso and longer limbs than I am. So I'm gonna back up into like the center of my mat. And I've come into a basic kind of malasana. Actually, let's stand up. Let's take our feet as wide as our mats. I'm gonna just be in the center so you can see. We're gonna bring our hands down to our elbows. So I'm gonna push my elbows into my knees and I'm hugging my knees back in. That's gonna create a really good action. I'm gonna come sideways. My hands, they're spread as far, my fingertips are spread as far as they can. And I'm gonna come up onto my tippy toes and I think, if you're old enough, you might know this. Suzanne Summers, thigh master. Your legs are on the outside. You're gonna hug in, right? So I'm gonna hug in. I'm gonna lift up through my belly. I'm gonna take my weight forward. I'm gonna take my gaze forward. And I'm gonna lift my left toes. And then my right, right here. And I'm just gonna go back and forth until they both find that quiet spot to lift. And then I'm gonna hang out there for five breaths. So my goal is five breaths once I get my feet together. So take your time. I should not fall forward because I know that I've gone too far forward, right? Part of doing crow is knowing when I should get out of crow, meaning I don't fall out of crow. I should be able to come out the backside, right? If I'm a little nervous, place some pillows, some blankets on this end, more than welcome to. Um, those hips aren't open. I didn't say anything about a block, but you can use a block. You must have it on the lowest level. In the other levels, it's going to buck you off. So what I would look like is my toes would be here. My hands are here. I'm going to lengthen, lift up. Lift my left toes, my right toes. And lift them both together. Now, I want you to think about that knee to chin. So that lift and then you need to lengthen just slightly. So lift, lengthen, and lift the toes. That helps me. Now, I want you to think back to when you were younger and somebody was teaching you to do a somersault. If you're looking at your toes, that chin is tucked, that momentum, you're going forward. So look just beyond the edge of your mat to help you with your gaze. Okay, a long leg runners. We are going to get on visual. So I want you to imagine you're diving off the side of a pool and you're coming down, right? So you're gonna draw everything up. You've got something that you've gotta make over yourself over. It'll make sense in a second, okay. So I'm gonna start with my feet together. My toes are going wide. We're gonna take our arms up over our head. We're gonna dive into our pool. Draw the navel up and in. As I'm diving, my knees are gonna start to bend. My hands plant. My knees are on the back. I'm gonna lift my left toes, my right. Now I'm a little more balanced on the back. My legs are a little bit less hugging around. Perfectly okay? Doesn't matter. What matters is that I can breathe and I can balance, right? If you have another way that you have done, awesome. These are just the ways that I have learned and I have had people help me learn. So again, I'll be up with my toes, lift, It's all from the belly, rising up. If I can hold a plank or a down bag, my upper body is strong enough to do curl. Yes, it might bother my wrist, so we might not do as many planks. We might do more on our forearms. Now, here's one extra challenge. It is a forearm curl for those of us whose wrists just aren't gonna happen today, right? I think this is harder. So, come down onto those forearms. My knees are already there. I'm gonna lift, hug everything in. Core, very, very active. So it's doable. So don't let your wrist be an excuse. Yes, my nose felt the mat, but didn't stay on the mat. So hundreds of different ways to get in, get out. Remember, it's a practice, keep practicing. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. 
let's sit up nice and tall. Let's come back to our seat. So keep practicing. I'll do some extra variations once we get this down. And we'll keep adding arm balances because they're my favorite. So just sit up tall. Let's take those arms above our head. Inhale. Exhale. Let's draw our hands to our heart. And thank you so much for sharing your yoga practice with me today. The divine light in me honors and acknowledges the divine light in you. Namaste. Have a wonderful day. Remember to keep practicing. Share, like, subscribe to the YouTube video. It helps us out a lot. Have a fabulous day.